Now folks, getting that time of year where it's getting time to rust proof your vehicles. Uh, if you don't, you should, especially if you live in the Northeast or in the salt belt, rust belt, anywhere where your car gets rusty and disappears. We've got a guy's 2015 Chevrolet. That's a Silverado. And uh, he wants to keep it long enough to at least put two or three transmissions and 17 front wheel bearings on it. You know what I mean? <laughs> if you're a Chevy guy, you do. Uh, I'm just kidding, not really. Uh, but we're going to get after it. We're going to fluid film this for him. I think it's been done before, probably crowned or something. I see it has holes in it. Let me show you how I go about doing this. You just a regular cab, she's a little guy. And uh, so let's get after it. Oh, you know I like giving all you Chevy guys grief. Just because it's fun. So we're going to start where we always start, right at the beginning. We're going to fill up our gun. We're using our 55 gallon drum full of fluid film. We'll give her a couple pumps here. A little more. There it is, looks like a pudding. Uh, you know, caramel pudding, I guess. You get the pudding in the pudding cup, you know? <laughs> we'll put this on here. It's a pressurized one, so make sure you turn on your regulator. We're gonna start out using our little nozzle here. I got this thing off the Amazon a long time ago. I haven't been able to find it since. I'm gonna wipe the dirt and junk off it with a hinky. And then we're going to start spraying under the hood. We'll do the doors with the tailgate. And then we'll uh, get up on the lift and get underneath that thing. Now when we start out under the hood, uh, main thing under here is going to be getting to the insides of the front fenders. So we just we go in, we're going deep. Get her in there and now she might, she might spritz back out at you. Try to get in all the openings here. Make sure you're getting it over top of the wheel arches. It fogs in there pretty good. Now we're going all the way. Go down as far as you can. Come over and do the same thing on this side. Make it rain, boys, make it rain. There you go, yes sir. Now we'll get the hood.
thing. It looks like this truck has had some kind of cavity wax or something before. I see it kind of oozing out of things. It's real stiff. So smoky outside today. Frickin' Canada. And then what we like to do is just come up here under the hood and see what you can see. Around blaster under the battery, so you get around areas that you're not gonna be able to get from underneath. Inside of frame members, body spots, anything that you can stick this little guy in. Uh, down here on the cross member of the frame can't see that from underneath. We'll fish her right down in there. Just fog it. It's not a typical spot these Chevys rod out, but better safe than sorry, I always say. One of the things I always say, we'll blast her in there, and then I'll just go around getting all kinds of little nooks and crannies where we can. And then we're going to take the broad sprayer and spray the whole top of this frame. Yeah, it's going to get on stuff. Probably going to get a little on the belt. It's going to get some on some of the plastic. If you don't want your truck to rot out, you're just going to have to get past it. What, did that just run? That's amazing. Sometimes people ask me, like, what, I, what do you spray it on? Uh, here's a short answer. Everything. I put it on everything. I put it on my freaking toast if it tasted better than it does. But it doesn't taste great. And I don't really care what brand you're using. If you're using food, film, rust check, lamps, oil coating, crown, you name it. You gotta do something, man. I guess PV Blaster, they've got their stuff. Everybody's got their own flavor, man. Make sure you get the battery terminals while you're up here. Get your snails, it's on the snails, the hood snails, your hood strings here. I think that's about it under the hood, folks. Now it's time to move on to the doors. So what I like to do on these Chevys, or most trucks anyways, not a big advocate of drilling holes. A, I don't like drilling holes. B, I'm not always 100% sure where to drill them. And C, I don't want to drill through something I shouldn't. So what I find is typically, typically there's drain holes. There's always drain holes in the doors. You just got to find them. You got to give it, give it the classic reach around under the rubber here. Usually you don't even have to bend down and look. We might have to. Let's be honest, we're getting older. Try to use, try to use a finger that has feeling in it. All right, I got no feelings. Ah, there's the hole. We go up in the drain hole, and then we're gonna give it one of these. Give it the classic spritz around. Make sure your window's up though, let me tell you what. So we'll give this a little spritz around in this area. You know, fog's coming out of the door now. And then we move along, we find the next hole. There's always more than one. I've learned that from experience. There we go. There's this guy. Oh yeah. Make her five. And then there's probably one here towards front. Most most of these bigger doors have like three drain holes. And this way here you don't have to you don't have to drill a hole and poke and hope. Hope you don't hit something. If you're I'm not saying you can't drill holes. This this truck already has holes drilled in it, but 
And the only spot we're really concerned with is the bottom of the door, because let's be honest, where's your door rod out? All the way at the bottom, because that's where all the water goes. So there's that. Now, what we can do, I'll show you a little free tip here. Look for uh, plugs like this. This here's a natural plug, all natural from GM. But it has spray foam in it, yep. So they film from with spray foam from the factory. So this kind of sucks because you can fluid film the crap out of this. You can't get behind the spray foam. Dodge does this too. They freaking fill their body full of spray foam. That's why they rot out. Another way to get in the rockers, uh, what I do, I do them from underneath. They're way easier to get to the cab corners and stuff on these Chevys. This is where they rot out. Um, but other trucks, other cars, just pull your threshold off here. Usually the thresholds just pop up. Kumbaya! You can take this up. This one has a wiring harness track underneath it. So you can't get in the rocker. But a lot of other car makers, you can. That's a good way to get into uh, into the rockers. Just opening the door, pulling off your thresholds, and then getting into it, you know, access that way. Hopefully that makes sense to you. But a lot of cars you can get access just from underneath. You gotta go underneath it anyways. Because let's see here. Yeah, this this doesn't get us very far. We're gonna we're gonna blast in this area here anyways. We're gonna let the old fog in there. We'll do the same on both sides, but we're gonna get the majority of this rocker from underneath. You'll see. These, these Chevys are pretty wide open under there. They got some good sized holes. We can blast you right full, but we just try to get in what we can while we're right here. Open this little guy up. Open this up. And then to do the tailgate, the easiest way to do it is right through the latch. Now, I guess I'll move you so you can see. Sometimes there's drains in the back, and there is on this one. So I'll show you both ways here. It's a little windy, you have to deal with it. Come in here. Make it rain. Hey, Barry. And we'll go hit it on the other side. So come over here, we'll go through the latch. Something's obstructing us in there. But we're going to get all the tailgate rest assured. So we just give it a wiggle. Again, these rot out at the bottom. That side had an aftermarket little device on there. So we, this side we can go through this lower hinge. We're going all the way. So it feels like she's wadded up there. There we go. Now oh, we feel it wiggling. Gotta keep it wiggling. Free tip for you. In the bottom of the gate, there are drains. And I'm gonna go in this one this way and then we'll go the other way. Whoa, almost got me a facial. There you go, folks. Uh, that's about it. I'm gonna get just below these tail lights here. Now, I know some places are big fans of taking the tail lights out to get in the box side. I, I need Chevys, you can get to it right from underneath. So I don't bother taking the tail lights out. You know what I mean? Come on. I don't want to go inside. Huh? That's a good girl. Come on. Let's say hi to mommy. This guy's getting some other work done while it's here, which involves pulling the wheels. We gotta do a tire rotation in the service. So I'm gonna pull the wheels right now and leave them off. 
it's gonna make it a little easier to do the food filming and a little better uh, for you guys to see. Now with everything exposed, it's gonna get a little noisy in here because I'm gonna kick the fan on. A couple fans on, you can probably hear them running. Get the air flowing that direction. We'll put on a Rona mask and then we're just gonna fog everything. We're gonna get up inside the holes of the frame. We're gonna juice them up. We're gonna broadcast spray stuff. We're gonna have a good time.
cab corner is good. There's kind of a few layers of metal here. Lots of holes underneath uh, to get in this whole rocker panel. There's rubber plugs under here too if you want to take those out, but there's plenty of holes. I go right up through the drain hole. Any hole you can get in on the body, just do it. And especially along here on the box section of the frame, you know, make sure you're sticking your wand in and just going as far as you can. and get a flashlight and go back over it because you probably missed something. The other thing is these chevies with that factory wax on there, it tends to really soak this stuff up so you'll get some dry spots you're going to have to hit back over. There we have it folks, the Chevy is all juiced up. Uh, definitely go over it with a light because you're going to find that you miss things. And that's normal, it's okay. We're only human. Uh, particularly like I say when they've got, you know, they've been painted, probably has some kind of asphalt undercoating under here which looks like it's holding up quite well but I know this truck's been crowned also and then now fluid shown so it's had lots of treatments. But it's holding up really well really really well this this truck is doing really nice but uh, like I say some of this wax stuff man it just it just I swear it just soaks in the fluid film because you'll spray it it'll be soaking wet you come back it looks dry but it starts getting real gummy and real greasy uh, so whatever that is it really mixes with it pretty well but make sure you get everything uh, no I wasn't fully douching the brakes when you saw me we're hitting these backing plates trying to get it on the knuckle but when you're looking at it, try to look at it from every angle, left, right, up, down, in, out, everything you can, because you'll spray it this way, then you come back, spray it this way, and you'll see spots you missed. Like here, I gotta come back here, it's a little bit dry. Gosh dang it, suck at this. But that's what I'll do, this one's staying on lift till the morning, so I'll come in and 
touch up anything I missed, but I gotta get repping for right now. Um, if you if there's a lot of junk, like if you're looking up in the spare tire and this thing's full of crap up in there, you gotta take the tire down. This one's she's clean as a whistle. Uh, but make sure you're spraying up in there. And of course, you can also kind of rely a little bit on the capillary action of the fluid. AKA when it gets warm, it kind of oozes places. All right, layman's terms there. That's got the Chevy Thunder. That's, that's what we're talking about, boys, right there. And then when we're all done here, once I put the wheels back on it and take it for a rep, you got to smoke pretty good. And that's the fun part. Take it for a little drive, burn the smoke off it, and you're good to go. You got to do this, folks. If you don't want your trucks to disappear in the PRNY, you got to spray them, baby. So that's it, folks. Going to call it quits on this one. Hopefully it gives you a little insight as far as fluid filming. I think we've done videos on it before, but I thought maybe it's a good time of year to bring out a refresher. Uh, because it's a good time of year to fluid film your vehicles. Some people want to do it right before winter when it's super cold and you spray stuff on it. It's like spraying latex paint and it just doesn't go anywhere. So it just does that. Uh, I like doing them when it's warmer out. So right now it's June, first week of June. And then it's going to be July and then probably August and then again September. And it's going to start cooling off here and then we'll start getting snow, you know, possibly sometime October, November, somewhere in there. Uh, so if I do it this time of year, when we spray up in, in the cavities and when we have areas that we miss a little bit, it does give the, uh, the fluid film time to really creep around and you'll really see it because once the guy drives this thing in about a week or so, it's going to be creeping up the outside of the door and the outside of the tailgate and it makes a big old mess. And if you're a big weenie and you can't stand your truck having like a little bit of stuff on it, then don't spray fluid film or crown or rush check or New Hampshire oil coating or chassis saver or any any brand of any kind of oil spray out there because if it's any good it's gonna wick its way out it's gonna be in the bottoms of the doors it's gonna be on the rockers it's gonna be everywhere as the stuff makes a freaking mess you just gotta wash it off the outside of your vehicle is off me personally I live on a dirt road so I don't care and you know the dirt and stuff sticks to it and you know when i'm downtown i'll go through a car wash but it doesn't last very long <laughs> you know uh, um what i tell my customers is uh, especially in the winter time i usually avoid the undercar spray uh some customers will come back right before winter and i'll just quickly broadcast spray the bottom of the car um, usually at that point uh if this guy drives anywhere where it's dusty the dust kind of sticks to it and it just really binds it right to it, uh, in my opinion. Uh, the difference between my customers' vehicles who fluid film them, or oil spray them, rather, just generic term, uh, the difference between their vehicles and my customers who don't, it's night and day difference. I mean, it's not even, it's not even a comparison. Um, but, you know, the people that don't, uh, 2015 Chevy Silverado would be heading for the crusher. Most of these uh, rear cross members are rotted out of them. Uh, where we put the lift up here on the front part of the frame uh, where it starts to come up over the front wheel arch or rotted out there and then particularly uh, beside uh, the muffler with had a factory muffler out beside the gas tank the whole inside of the frames are rotted out of them there uh, i mean as a matter of fact i just found 2013 this morning and i mean it's so rotted you couldn't even put it on the lift and that's just that's just a fact of life if you spray it and take care of it like this guy has I mean, granted, this thing's only got 60 some K on it. It's probably spent some of its life out of the salt. But um, if you oil spray them, it's just, it's such a, such a big difference. I'm not sitting here trying to push it on you, but I am, I'm being a little pushy, getting in your face. Do something, folks, do something. That's why I tell them this, oh, God, do something. I don't know what, but you gotta do something. So do something. And when you're thinking about doing what you're gonna do, Think about going in that comment section. Questions, comments, the Insta, the Facebook. We're not on TikTok, it's an imposter. And if you see the guy in the street, give him one of those. And, uh, and then call me and I'll help you take care of it. Wink, wink, you know what I mean? And uh, just remember viewers, if I can do it, you can do it. Thanks for watching.